Nimegopa sana kama And I'm really sorry go tell her mama And I pray kila kitu kuwe sawa Ile pain me na face endo dawa Mi na jua hard times don't last came a long way Ebu check your past but I promise every day Utaka I'm too fast mi na jua liku mess But please see ni cast Na since ushiki simu mi na tuma heavers After, after this mi na hope ita kutouch Nili blanda na jua ni meku hurt right now Was it trust any man with your heart na Zay vision mi na where to keep out Reminiscing back then to keep out Uka ni show, you have a dream You wanna be a lawyer, uki graduate Look at what I did, say zi evaluate Dream shattered, na jua unani hate Na majisha mwagika mi na jua too late No debate hakuna kitu right now Na eza correct, I know I know I was wrong Na story ni long but I pray to the Lord For you I'll be strong so I put it in a song It I can't do alone, you'll never be alone I know, I know I was wrong Na story ni long but I pray to the Lord For you I'll be strong So I put it in a song, it I can't do along, you'll never be alone Tulikuwa happy faces, hakuna ata cases Nikatai adi laces, right now tuna agiju ya menses Motivation minatia to be D Kwezo street ka hoka CBD So sorry ni me mess zaidi Na mina wish ninge tu mia CD Kuku kofiti mpenzi na tumayu kofreshi na kuenzi vishenzi Na try ni si medi but I know I'm pretending me ku hata be deadly I really wish that you were with me Na feel ni kama ni tachizi Sita ni gletu yo mkidi Trudi ni mbani ukaina mimi How have you been? I know someone already kicking Mi na jua tunaza handle I got you, I don't care about the struggle I made mistakes, I'm sorry when you pardon Soon I jua that I'm still a kid Tell me how can I take care of another kid Look at what I did Sinanga job na hii family says he feed Bado na kumbuka how we met Nika show interest, uka ni show kama na za wait You were looking all beautiful, no debate na love Ili shika after weeks, tuka anza date Days went by, so in love tulikuwa high Zile stress tuka zipea by Liku show na kupenda and I really don't know why Everything changed when you said you pregnant Nisha lose ID4 cause irrelevant Na sezi walk away, yeah I really can't And for real I was never ready So lost, I don't know where I'm heading I was really never down down for the taking You have a dream, me na jua you wanna be In school I know I'm a fool Acha watu wani overrule Man I really wish nige pull But the feeling was so damn cool I really wish I would put on a rubber It's too late very soon mini baba Na hii life ina get too harder I don't know how it feels to be loved by a father Cause I never had one I really had none but for you I'll be your number one I know I know I was wrong A story ni long but I pray to the Lord For you I'll be strong so I put it in a song It I come to a long You will never be alone I know I know I was wrong, na story ni long But I pray to the Lord, for you I'll be strong So I put it in a song, it I can't do alone You'll never be alone, I know Opu kofiti mpenzi na tumayu kofreshi na kuenzi vishenzi Na try ni si medi but I know I'm pretending me ku hata be deadly I really wish that you were with me I feel ni kama ni tachizi Sita ni gletu yo mkibi Tudi ni umbani ukana mimi Yeah Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that is Trigger Youngboy and Christian. Um, 
come home and um, we are very blessed and honored to be in the studio with Trigger Young Boy or Young Boy Trigger um, depending on how you know him some people call him T yeah. um, but um, he's 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 been here for a while um, but some of you might not know him so we want to get a chance to um, speak to him about his music um, what it's been like his journey um, just get to know him better and he's got a new single out and he's working with Super Drum so even find out what that is all about um, and how he's enjoying it so far so um, Trigger Yo. Nyaje Nyaje Kupua bro um, Karibu Radio 254 I'm honored to be here bro um, Nimecheki DM mingi sana sure. Zako Sa- Tangu 2022 uh. <laughs> As in You are Definitely persistent Like Thanks, bro. Thank you so much for For pushing Cause like sure. a lot of people When well, nimse wana jituma Yeah sure um, And Sazingine talent is not enough Sazingine ukuna za kuna talent Alafu uji push yeah, And there's true. a lot of talented people out there So for me one of the biggest things is um, One you're super talented yeah. And then you're also pushing yourself. True, bro. Um, I've gone through all the possible research I could possibly find about you out there. Yeah. And I'll start with the one thing I couldn't find. Yeah. Um, the one thing I couldn't find was, what's your real name? <laughs> oh, my real name. Yeah. Chris Zoga. Chris Zoga. Yeah. Um, so when I was speaking to Afam yeah. about um, your music and what you guys are doing, yeah, he told me you're from Mombasa. But then I was so confused because yeah. <laughs> everywhere I'm seeing thicker, 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 thicker. So uh, I was like, "Mzani wa thicker, ama mzani wa Mombasa?" Okay, mm, okay, mzazi, mzazi, mzazi ni mtaita mm. from Mombasa. So okay. that's why you spend mostly kwenda na place mzazi wangu anatoka. Yeah. Yeah, my mom my, my mother was born in Mombasa, so that's why I, I normally tell people, "Yeah, mimi ni shithika, nimekuwa thicker, but I'm from Mombasa because that's where I actually grew up partly then ndo tukakuja hizi sides. Okay. Yeah. Um and I guess just trying to understand your journey and your story. Yeah. Um your mom died at a very young age. Yeah, um, sure, sure, sure. And um I guess that had an impact on you. Yeah, for real. Um and I guess I'm trying to understand like did you even know at seven years old or what like did you even like how did how did they, how did they even explain to you a mom's not here no more uh it was uh it was something that uh actually me when you sing as a queen handle because you know at that particular time that said that that one person is both your mom and dad because mm. uh my dad left us when i was like one year six months mm-hmm. And so I was just with my mom and my mom was diabetic and he struggled with that she struggled with that condition for for so long and everything and plus now the fact that dad left that was another stressful moment stressful time and so that woman was like both mom and dad to me yeah and so uh, had them was broke everything i felt like was it the world came to an end at that particular time but yo mini g so i couldn't even anything and seek sympathy at yo now mom is no more so i should start crying on my nini i just had to accept the fact that mom is no more and i'm just left with the world my shosh uh, my shosh who turned out to be my world actually mm-hmm. and so many people so many people who turned out to be strangers family members and 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 etc and so for me it came with a very huge shock i was so shocked i was so shattered and i felt at one point i felt like maybe at a dream zangu zita come true you see nam say waku waku nipatia energy na motivation ya kusonga because my mom was really playing a very big part when it comes to motivating me because nikiwa mtu huyu alikuwa ananin encourage ninge is in groups za ku act na za kuimba so you can tell she was really determined to see me ending up you know vic- you know ending up so excellently in the in the in the entertainment scene so do you th- like as a kid um uh. like in your early ages like do you think she saw the talent in you or like yeah, how are people how did people ago. see him say um say akona kipaji mom so it long time ago cuz i remember mm-hmm. alikuwa ga ananipeleka Sunday school by force by fire and mm. I'm I'm be a Sunday school who are kwa kwa ile group ya kuimba mm. and I would you know 
before I, I never knew I could rap. I used to sing, bro. Mm-hmm. I used to have a good voice. Yeah. Right now, he voice say is him, but what do you mean? You, have, you, singing, you claim bro. that you're a melodic rap guy. Uh, yeah, bro. Melodic, like melodic rap. You uh-huh. know, you can do melodic rap with the bass. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, so, in Iliko, like, uh, she discovered, she saw the talent in me because I would blend in with this with the choir group. Uh, I would sing and I would still act in school, and I would still, you know, do performances here and there. But but that time, nilikuwa na imba rap zase definitely. Nilikuwa na imba zangu mwenye. Then later on, as it grew up, don kanza kujiandikia mwenye. But my mom saw the talent before everyone else. And I guess like in African society, or just in life sometimes, like you know your parent is your cheerleader, your parents your provider, there's so much for you. And then now you're left in the world where you don't have a dad in your life yeah, and then sure. mom is gone. Uh, yeah. Your family didn't say, eh, um, say sasa amekuwa, amekuwa a burden. Like, because now it's like, you're on, you know, now they have to feed you, they have to find a way to get, take you to school. How was, did you, did you feel ostracized? Did yeah. you feel like, eh, hey, I'm alone? Or what was that? Because I don't know, but what was that journey like for you? Uh, like, uh, I remember like, uh, at one point, they would say all going to say mommy ni kijana mtukutu sana mm. so my aunts were arguing actually nani hata nani hata tukua chris venya na sumbuaga you know how i'm seven bro yeah. what do you expect you're so young you're yeah. supposed to be a kid yeah. you know that's what yeah. kids are supposed to be doing but my grandma was like and that's my 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 grandson so mommy ni mtukua tu and my grandma was just kept it real with me and my grandma played her part and i played mine i i made sure that i'm growing up to be a, a better man in the society not just for to, to please her but for me and for my future family kids you feel me yeah and so there was a lot of kuvutana who's going to take chris cuz kijana ko na tabia za kevin na even plus my real dad is south african mm-hmm. and so the fact that my budangwal from zulu like most people were like mbona mama yake angeelewa na mtu wa huko mbona ga ya mtu wa karibu ama mtu angeweza kusaidia everyone was like zz but my grandma blood is thicker than water bro so i thank my grandma mzee and one of my aunts also came in and yeah as is tell when you grow up but mm. that's how it it ended up you feel me you mentioned your dad i guess did you yeah. ever meet him see him ni msemu na zabonga is he still alive like do you have any sort of even uh, do you have his, even his phone number ama whatsapp uh, for me like ever since the man left when i, I was that little kid mm. i've never gotten to like really really hear from him but okay. when i was in form 4 mm mm-hmm. Someone someone came to school and said your dad is looking for you and he knows now you're turning 18. Mm-hmm. But my family like my extended family you know my relatives are like z aizi kujokiwa 18 sa hizi ama otherwise there are some uh, some things some process he has to follow and everything mm-hmm. by the time I'm completing high school that man was like i think he got tired of waiting okay. and he went back to us i couldn't even meet him okay and so he it, but you know usually it's like the was like when you grow up you try to look for your dad i did bro so like, he also, but he also yeah, looked for you so so as much me. as he might have left he tried to look for yeah, you at some for point sure. okay yeah, he tried to but um okay in our society vijana kama sisi naturally if society na to train kuchukia our dads mm. when you are to we get mm. And I'm not except uh, I'm not an exception bro me everyone hate hates him and they made me hate him okay because he was stable enough to take care of me mm. and to see me grow into a better man and everything but wake when I get back he feel me mm. and so I, I I've grown up with so much hatred and even the time we gonna born and he die meaning quite acha venida kwa ikuwe tu kama scamming kwa saa mzee i'm i'm turning 18 i'm a big boy right now mzee and the only thing i'm focusing on is how i'm going to be successful in life yeah and niendele tu ku grow mzee as an artist because i knew i was going to definitely end up in the music in the industry okay and so that's how it ended for me i hated him but again you know you meet people who tell you forgive forget and at one point i said me nisha acha hiyo song tu mean focus na life yangu na so mean limtoa ile place mbaya kwa heart place mbaya nilimweka nga kwa raw nka forgive and I, i think you've done really well for yourself because considering where you've come from and considering like the circumstances that life threw at you yeah, yeah, like yeah. you've made you you're a man now and you're providing for yourself and you're doing what you have to do and that's yeah, like sure, that's respectable because i mean you could look at the world and say ah na jo i mean you know you could you could be bitter yeah. but like instead you've channeled that into your art and 
You said you started writing at seven. Yeah, bro, at seven, literally. Actually, <laughs> at that time, funny thing was, I was writing. I think for me, I used to call them poems. To me, I mean to call poet, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, I, I used to write some good poems, maze, and uh, I wouldn't squagger able kuzi kuzi master. So nilikuwa na zisoma tu kopepa in front of the class, and that's when I. I, I could write now and I could I could write my own lyrics my own lines maybe some like two verses mm-hmm. present them before the class and everything because as I told you I was also in the drama club I, yeah. I used to act so it was part of again the the whole entertainment thing and that's time don realize nazandika so as I grew as I grew don realize it's not I'm not really a poet but I'm a rapper so nikamada venye nilimada primary school queen your form one i was admitted to a school called kakomega high school shout out to kakomega high school leviski and sama say hi to trigger yeah yeah sure big shout out to leviski that's my g so like uh could grow your time you know uh could get form one i went to a school that was so mo- everyone was so in- much into rap mm-hmm. and entertainment bro that's when i started writing bomb lyrics cuz nilijua kuna compare and i wanted to come with the best cuz we had annual rap battles in that school so, so that's when how, that's how i started writing my own lyrics so a lot of where a lot of you're very consistent as you're saying until it's a rap till i die it's rap till i die it's yeah, rap till yeah, i die yeah, yeah. um and i guess when i when i listen to your music there's so many different flavors i can't box you into the rap only exactly bro but then I'm curious as you started in church yeah, in yeah. terms of the music. Yeah, sure. But then at home you're living with your grandma. Yeah. What were you guys listening to besides church music? Where were you getting your musical uh, influences? Okay, actually the, the, there was a very a very a huge like uh, say between me and my grandma. My grandma was so much into church mm. trying to take me to church, but I was so much into other outside music okay and where were you getting this influence yeah nina uh, was getting it from my big homies i had homies who were already into this big into into this uh, outside music you okay. feel me so i i remember i had homies who were really into listening to R. Kelly music mm-hmm. they were listening to kina tupac music so i was so much into into that type of music much as my grandma every day i'll gonna make sure and pelekana ni acha kwa class ya sunday school but again when i go back home i'm listening to 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 I was I remember Pia kuna time I was listening to Nameless mm. you know Nameless was such a vibe and he still is and so for me I mean picking all that that all that all those different type of music Pia will say of music will say there yeah, will inspire will inspire you Pia mimi kujua venye naweza come up with different flavors you feel me yeah cuz uh, I believe sikila siku tamka ru nataka kusikia one flow or one type of flow smoje na za switch at least ni ni relax masikio zako akili yako and everything yeah so it was the whole thing then you influenced from listening to different type of music church music and on itanga zikia dunia world music yeah world music secular music yeah. that is yeah so mesema ulienda form 1 kaka mega but primary ulifanya coastal yeah, taita sure, mawapi sure. uh, mombasa okay. it was it was all mombasa then um did my, my primary school then i was admitted uh to there was stereo boy center later and kaka mega so i couldn't make it to stereo boy center cuz uh, i was just passionate about that school kakamega school why why kakamega because you're so far from that what did you even know about kakamega let me tell you one thing Every, i had like i had some friends who who would tell me so much so many things about that school about their drama mm-hmm. and, and 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 rugby and these are two main things that i was so passionate about and for me na just start to ni ni masomo nataka kwenda play school na masomo na games na entertainment to get balance if you and for real maze it did me so good and it's a decision that i say i never regret making bro like imagine you in an institution where you're growing holy yes like musically una poor platform every weekend maze una perform na bado monday to friday uko daro una do kitu yako unajua yeah for me you should learn it jenga man Big so me i know you. you're smart for I, I, the reason i know you're smart because one i can hear your music and how how intellectual and deep you're choosing to take your music yeah. but then i'm also thinking about like you were accepted into the equity foundation yeah yeah sure and that's like a huge deal like yeah, they choose yeah. the smartest people who are well deserving and need a chance yeah true bro and then you're talking about ukimada ukimada 
primary yuko na options unajua kuna say hizi hata yeah, yeah, yeah. ni dream sarehe wanaonanga kwa gazeti na kwa tv so why why was it like i how was, were you smart or did you take school seriously i guess is it both or what what happened I, for me i was uh, it was like more of born smart kind of cuz I wasn't so much into like bookworm I feel mm. me, but uh, but whenever the teacher was in class I would listen like that's one thing I was trained moda kwa daro skiza ndo akitoka uko umesikiza enough la full time a game ndo cheza uchanga mshimwili cuz I knew from how I grew up I was already being exposed to both studies and both you know they call co-curricular extracurricular extracurricular you feel me and so for me like what you kitu ya kuingia daro mimi nasikiza mode Pepeki kuja mimi natafua unajua and that's how it was bro all the way to high school bro and um, yani it was something that i i was really proud of because I, i would never struggle with you know those long hours of studying the moment the teacher was in class i would listen bro and when the exam came i would deliver mm-hmm. but since high school ilikuwa na suspensions mingi man i don't know kuna mzee flani amenichachisha leo amenichaka hadi karibu nilie kuna comments flani kwa e video overseas um kuna mzee mmoja alikuwa anasema kwamba funky zote <laughs> Wewe lazima ulikuwa ulikuwa na waibia madem na ulikuwa na warogea. Mse mwingine akasema wewe ulifanya ahadi wa strike. Sijui ulipelekwa hadi stage na chuo. So story yako ya chuo nimecheka sana leo nikija kwa understand ni aje umse. Umse ako smart lakini pia ni mtukutu. Ndio ina jua ni tricky kutoa mse ako smart chuo. <laughs> you fucked man. Hey, ilikuwa crazy bro. Tell us like... about high school and what that was like. Uh, my high school mm. my high school uh, studying off knowing that maze i nilingia high school na 405 bro the journey oh, good bro. marks <laughs> in a public school yeah. in a public school bro nilikuwa na 405 and i was okay i was number one in the school yeah, yeah cuz i'm so pilia nilikuwa na 399 i think so like me ni chepe mimi na jo mimi ni chepe so start struggle sana una jo shatia bi hapa ni e niende kwa law ya uko mbele mbele so studying off high school nilikuwa tu saa but sasa nilikuwa na tabia mbili zilishinda kuacha gani kusag na uh-huh. kuantak uh-huh. bro mzee nilikuwa na sag na hiyo ni tafash kwa nini chuo lazima wapendi si unajua ka chesti ya kwanza nilipoa nikiwa second term nikiwa form 1 second term nilikuwa ga kusag mm. umoja niliambia umesa ina sag sana akanipia chesti ya four ya kwanza ina kuanga chesti chesti ndio ina grow kwa suspension mm. then in def then g Okay. So yo chisa kwanza ilikuwa kusag nini mara antrack. Hizo ndio vitu zikaanza kuchangia mwanzeni kaanza ku lose focus na daro then I was so much into music and ilikuwa na like, ku make sure every weekend na chafuli assess the mm. me na try to build to dream yangu. Well I really wanted to be a lawyer bro because I was so good at it. I knew I was so confident. I was such a good debater. Mm. I was such eloquent I could speak very good English I could debate I could you know and I could represent someone that's one thing I knew but again because says it deny the fact I was so much into music and I was really focusing on music more than my studies yeah and so ah it's got kuja my suspensions mingi and getting to form 3 wakasema wamechoka na mimi wakadai nende g ile time round na dai kwenda g view must do me sema z uko ya g must do me zu ama zeni wapele kwa stage bro ali akwambia ni rudi una play kwa stage juu ya nini sasa ni pele kwa stage juu amevunja ma luva zu kwa na boy to you must they are breaking luva because of you can you see the damage of that oh prince alikuwa akiongea hivyo So mimi nimechill tu hapo na ngoja tu fetu yangu mimi najua hapo narudi tu mtaani jo so hiyo time ile yani we break my louvers me pele go stenge nimeenda huko oti mbanga na ntwa shati ya nitape eh hey, bro nilitoka mm. tea kama zile na nikaruka fence nikarudi dormitory mwanze nikabidi nimeenda tu nime medi dorm mwanze uh. niki reflect hizi vitu zote zina happen mwanze but at one point nilikuwa na try to avoid these so easy how to... so now wow oh, well, chuo umesema hukutaki <coughs> yeah for sure wewe unataka ku, wewe unataka kukua wewe na ina wanakata so i guess the overall outcome inakuwa gani wanakutoa overall out- outcome ilikuwa kunipea g so alinipanga g mm. like me was one guy i only did three years man because mm. going back to school kuingia form for waliambia they don't want to see me anymore mm mm-hmm and uh, I'm a threat to the administration that's the word they use <laughs> threat to the administration yeah, they don't want to see me anymore and so me in kind of home and that was it and it was so funny in our school ukipoa g 
you're only walking out with your uniform no books no nothing that's, at, uh, that's an extra point akuna ta box ni ni unaenda tu vile ulikam eh unaambo so you go go get a school come up, come during the exam mm. you took a shule 24th january nilirudinge shule november 3rd na kufanya hizo ma cases yes so hiyo mwaka yote ulikuwa unafanya nini sasa nilirudishwa niliru, mtaani sasa nilikuwa na try kusoma soma hapo na pale at least nisi forget content but kulikuwa gana mafanki za za ma day school wa, 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 wa mtaa unacheki mm. so umerudi coast yeah, okay. so kulikuwa na funky ama day school hapo nilikuwa najituma mbaya tulikuwa tuna niki au madansa wakienda funky pia wakienda form pia wanaenda nao naenda na chafuo naenda mara battle ile ilikuwa na grow to talent yango hadi ilifika mahali mzazi akanielewa tu mm. but kifika siku ni kurudi kezani mimi nasoma nasoma kiasi na dose asubuhi nasoma kiasi na ingia kusaka venye kusaka form maybe kitu na za do kwa hivyo time ya kurudi tu ilipofika mimi nikarudi ngana nikadupa pangu mzee how did you do I had a B B minus bro from home. Yes, ndio. Sasa kuna wasi I'm sure like walikuwa hold the holy and hata wakaribia B. Kuna manga kwa ngoma. Um back in high school I had a B na hata sikusoma na maboy walisoma walipata D. That's fact bro. Yeah. That's fact bro. Waga sit cup maze. And so uh after after KCC results zilitoka now uh, i was supposed to enroll to school but i was heavy i was ex- heavy on scholarship because i knew my grand kind, kind of i hang hang ways and everything yeah but i nika 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 enroll college nika enroll nibs when work nibs okay nairobi ama baru mombasa nairobi nibs nika nika enroll ict nika do module module mbili but kale rachu ni ni za school fees hapo na pale ndo nikaamwa si si make decision mbaya acha tu ni sare ni try to put focus yangu kwa music tu cuz i know jani struggle na historia ya, ya school fees ya daro manzena na jua mazeni ita ita itanikula ita sana so let me go back to my music and try and focus so getting to 2020 bungoja kiasi kiasi uh, mlijipata thika aje Tika. Hmm. Sasa unajua Tika 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 actually actually Tika ni ilikam solo cuz mimi leta mimi leta mimi leta mzazi home mm. mimi mwambia mimi Tika kulikuwa na kuna best yango anaitwa Rico close mm-hmm. friend yango aliko tumeishi tumekuwa ma bro since high school mm-hmm. akaniambia bro kuanga ukuja huku sadi mimi huku nilikuwa nakuja since niko form 1 kwa boys wa mimi okay kun visit uko yeah, Tika kun visit sando nikajo nika, nika ikakuwa part part of my home sasa okay. since is all my days sasa ndo nikajipata yeye mzee nime vibe nimeingiana nime blend fit na Tika mm-hmm. and that's how Tika became home so kuna two people I want to ask you about uh-huh. kuna ule msa alikupatia hiyo jina trigger uh-huh. na kuna boys wako nganga Yeah. So tuna zanza na Trigger hiyo jina yeah, Trigger Trigger ilikuwa ja, ilikuwa just ilikuwa ja, nani Justin Justin Trigger ilikuwa gani ni mbili actually ilikuwa ga coincidence to yeah the fact that I, I nilikuwa napenda sana guns yeah and so <laughs> unajua ki Trigger gani inatoa shots mm. but at the same time my best friend pia alikuwa anaitwa Trigger mm. and so this best friend kuna time mazeli come through you major for me yani alini hold down ile vi crazy eh hey, then akanambia by the way i'm dropping this name staki kujitaji hivyo then me at the back of my mind i already had an idea of calling myself Trigger because of the fact that i, I was so much in love with guns yeah and then i was like yo i'm i'm going to pick trigger as my stage name and as my hood name my my street name eh msiore aki akataka kunijua tu me to trigger and that's they i merged the two meanings the two situations and came up with trigger okay mm. so your whole time that you're writing music uko kama funky una perform una freestyle una una fresh was say uh. ojai under studio your time out uh. bro they record key to hizo nilikuwa na, na, na natumia beats na na, na rap tuko beats mm. Hakuna place hakuna hakuna time yote nilioenda studio yo time yote studio studio yangu ya kwanza kabisa nakumbuka best yangu ni Twanganga nganga ndo alinipeleka nga studio ku kwenda ku record ngoma fulani yo time but sikuwa mazi nimeiva kabisa kwa nilikuwa na tension plus the mm. ya booth mm. and everything after nilitoka yo studio studio ilikuwa wapi ilikuwa ronga okay e, so mko sasa ulikuwa na stay wapi at the time asili kwa tunko thika tu okay so mkatoka uh, thika uh, mkaenda hadi ronga eh uh, mimi 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 meet tao okay eh nikasema lakini yeye alikuwa na jo ndio msanii mkali juu chuo akokuwa na msana kushinda so alikuwa na jo kama ni rap ni wewe 
So after tulidio ngoma but I remember your time nilikuwa na rap car amigos then nilikuwa na unajua afu mazema tu si mingi na unajua ile kwa vibe tu ya high school yeah. lakini in real in the real world uko ushasha uko umesafisha bado eh yeah, unacheki lakini nikasema man mimi sirudi studio tena mimi sionekana as a kid by the way nilisema uko penda vile uko na sound ama uko penda hiyo ngoma penda vile na sound mm. like mbona mbona na sound hivi manze cuz at the end of the day unapata wase wanaipenda ni wase less si ndio eh cuz una rap na rap na ngoso tena niko kuna watu si hapo una cast mm. they wanataka kuwa take off unajua yeah. na wewe ni trigger <laughs> na hizi mek sami ngambia nganga eh acha mimi ni rudi sasa ni jenge tu life yangu basing on other hustles but rap z getting to 2020 something just told me man you can't give up on this dream man, mm. i went to the studio sasa ni kwanza self dokiasi mm-hmm. kind of two kadungo mimi to ambition mm-hmm. ambition maze na ngoma inaitwa Larry Mado. Yes. Mazizi acha 10 over 10 imekam. Eh mazizi. Nikucheki ukiwa na Raburu. Eh yeah, zinanipatia platform manze. Eh Maros do nimeenda nimeenda ni Homeboys Radio. Eh mazizi imeanza kimedia tu yangu bro. Mm. Ena hizo tu ngoma mbili. Kujituma lakini yeah, of course. Na, okay mimi Kenya nilikuwa na do. Mm. Walikuwa nakupata aje hata. Bro mimi nilikuwa na wafuata hadi kwa mani, bro Red African ni gonna end up bro <laughs> naambia mean him sani man David Munisquize ban uh, that's how i met Corin Corin kan is kira kan ambia yeah i'll host you mm. same to Jalango Jalango ni producer ni producer wa 10 over 10 okay. kan ambia man i had your music it's dope i'm, I'm hosting you next week any liko ina kuja swiftly mm. Eh hey, Adi Switch TV the same thing okay i don't make check ibru ni make check mali mingi sana so like getting back back to this music i love bro and is is the interviews na ingiana man i'm destined for let me ask you something uh, from that first time with nganga to the point now when you came back what changed if someone was to ask you what changed bro a lot changed cuz how i sounded i don't sound bro i'm sounding like a million times better than how i used to sound huh? okay the music i make these days makes sense mm-hmm. you feel me The kind of music I make is way different from the kind of music I used to make some okay. years ago. And much I matured mentally plus um I need I realized any these there are so many things that you need to do in life you need to inculcate in life as a young man and not just like just living some type of some type of life to please people and everything at the end of the day e life ni yako man and so when do taishi And so hiyo kitambo siko anafikiria anga hivyo siko ana think na need music yenye itaniweka stage na need music yenye itanipea collab na bana boys kumoja but squeeze in and the music nikijiambia maze one day I'll, I'll do a record with Beyonce or yeah. bana boy you feel me because mm. those are my biggest biggest inspirations and so these days i write music from a whole different perspective it's not like before to kubamba sema kubamba wa poa yeah so ina ifanya nikijua manze itaniaka place in future na itaeka watu wangu place in future you feel me and so that's what it changed literally so as as kulize um when you look at um the kenyan music industry right now uno na kiwaje juzi nime check ibra kisama like the future is african music uno na kina bana boy wanafanya ma stadium yeah. like bana boy was saying he said bana boy could be as big as Bob Marley yeah, sure. like you know like when when it's all said and done I see yeah. Bonaboy being as big as Bob Marley mm. like African music is taking over it's, uh, the world is listening what do you think about like where you're at in like the music industry yeah, our music industry bro me at that you say it's growing cuz it has grown mm. bro for me any of you to go place any at one point you got a dream kukua mean kwa mtu win kwa naona kina nameless so kipush you know jua kina you got na skill unaona kina kalio kingana na ma freestyle eh, for, for real maze kama kina butros wana nominate you free man Imagine. bro a man to make man the thing is to say legeza na to say choka ku supportiana cuz again industry iko na ile like oh mini li struggle such a pia ya struggle mm. unajua kuna kupeana mkono eh si kama like i have a friend who 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 lives in naija i am a young man uko manze bana boy anakuja hood maze analipia ana, ana studio kijana fulani una una get eh mm, una inua mse eh una inua mse una get so mean ki ku dm yani usinionyeshe like i have to struggle like you did bro because mm. at the end of the day we both taking different parts bro that's true and so now feel like your love to embrace your love ya queen wa real talents 
not mediocre talent mm. real talent yani una film sana za tuweka frima una film sana za tuweka gra- at day iko na grammy bro at day hakuna msani na shit tuletea grammy kenya right uko sure nikwambie ben sola kwa na grammy A- uh, award yenye alichukua kwa stage ka bana boy ali aliandika oh. on time flies lakini like sauti sol nakumbuka nakumbuka pia waire na naiboy walikuwa nominated grammy kwa uh, album ya etana legacy etana okay. alikuwa amefeature naiboy na waire oh. so they were nominated for a grammy so those guys had grammy nominees and then sauti sol and ben sol are grammy award winners oh. because of oh. banner boys okay. album i get oh, so for me my grammy yangu ni ile award and do kama venye bana boy alishika hivyo award akasema akakuwa you know aka win grammy so for me nani focus yangu ni we need a grammy like a physical that physical award you need a grammy for real and in the country and everything and the only way we can get that is just to focus on on like queen wana and helping each other grow and we should more focus more on the love we should show genuine love even to the underground artists when you see it unakuja usiogope ku replace you man mm. at the end of the day kauna endelea ku do the right thing out i replace you true utacha legacy yako ka tupac tupac hata i replace you on get bro cuz you sure. it's one of one like yeah. you say on your youtube you say you're one of a kind yeah, since sure. the ile de ulizaliwa 2001 yeah, one yeah. of a kind one of a kind so that's it bro and for me i feel like your love in the layer to coin industry your industry do it and a fun for sana bro so you say Kanye West is one of your biggest inspirations yeah Kanye um, whether it comes to fashion, fashion and music, music so tell me about time. Kanye West and what about Kanye West do you like why Kanye West I love how I love how people misunderstand him because mm-hmm. me not feel peace kumoja watu wataanza kuni misunderstand and uh, for me I feel like Kanye like coming out musically 100% excellent in music and fashion na mimi napenda look mbaya na joe wewe wewe unauza look una ngara look drip everything fashion, bro and so for me for me can you really inspires me a lot plus he makes quality music bro good music yeah. bro when as a when as like the whole day bro without getting bored you feel mm. me my samples yeah, my sa- yeah, as in different samples, sounds bro, like he yeah, takes time sure, with his sure. projects and, ta- and he put, incorporates so many different producers yeah, like akina yeah, mike exactly. dean so many different writers really, bro and then i get to understand how at one point he also gets close to the creator he can make a gospel song bro mm. that means a praise charge yeah. you feel so that 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 artist who is close to to his creator and at the same time he comes out so excellently in music and fashion bro that's some that's a real god right there you feel me and so the fact that he ma- he the fact that he makes it so it looks so easy in both in both fields makes me really want to be like him though i don't want to be like him definitely i want to be me of but course at a higher level you get and for me i said one day i'll, I'll also walk in, into his path nikwa na brand yangu ya cladi ya maluku wevi aitanga wevi ulijuaje niko rada bro ka wevi you get yeah you know wevi mazena nikwa nikwa successful pia kwa music na ni make sure kwa music pia na napatia mse reason ya kujua God ama Allah na pia na kupatia reason ya kupati ya kupea reason ya kujibamba same same kanya na do kanya na kupea club banga na kesho ako charge mm. una, una get yeah. same na bado akukladisha aku akupeluku and so for me i really want to walk into that path and I, i know i will bro for sure i'm so determined into that so i'm curious about something mm. um in a lot of the music and a lot of the interviews you say rap till i die rap till i die rap till i die but then when i listen to like your catalog i hear uh, drill music mm. i hear um, melodic music yeah, sure. Gang it um on. i hear so many different sounds yeah, even yeah. like the song that there's so many vibe yeah, yeah, so yeah. i feel like yes you say rap and you can rap more, more better than most people yeah, sure. but then Do you feel like you box yourself in by saying rap till I die? Because yes, you can rap, but then yeah. you do so many other things besides. Because drill una uwa sana. Yeah, sure. Bro. Unajua, yeah. drill una uwa sana. Alafu yeah. pia na kusikia kwa hizi mango mazi, kuna different styles, yeah. kama ni hizi magenge tone, ma vibe. So I guess, do you, is, rap, is rap it? Or just, what do you think? I guess, explain to me what that is. Because me, I'm like, this guy is more than a rapper. Yeah, for me, 
that drop till it die i dropped it because at one point <laughs> I, i realized yo bro i'm doing too much yeah. the, i can do more than bro you could have brand kama rapper alafu ngoma zako sio street rap unajua exactly bro exactly so adio rap till it die nili drop nika replace na rap till you blow okay uh, so you rap till it die nili acha nangana because ni real, nili realize i'm doing more than that actually True. yeah i'm not like specifically on street rap but on different vibes different sounds and so that's how i came up with rap till you blow rap till you blow uh, i love that so when i was trying to do my research you talk about 2020 in terms of when now you kind of brought yourself back to the music after yeah, that break yeah. um because i think we made high school 2018 yeah, yeah bro so <coughs> when i think about like just my research and i'm seeing 2019 we're gonna find stuff in the industry night yeah 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 so yeah, kuna, yeah. so <laughs> so kuna, kuna, kuna venye, 2020 is not really it i feel like 2019 was kind of like so, getting into it and do up we're gonna we're gonna find my performances yeah, yeah, yeah. different performances my freestyles so i guess 2019 is what i see yeah, but you're yeah. saying 2020 is it well, yeah, am i for me uh, uh, uh 2019 it wasn't like uh like so 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 official cuz uh, mina try kuangalia ile time nili hit the booth and it okay. just two 2019 nilikuwa natumia beats then na rap kwa beats alafu naenda na pay dj and i play beat na rap you gonna perform you gonna check you gonna perform eh post bro so ilikuwa na perform kwa beat beat okay. yangu ina play hiyo ana perform okay hiyo time sikuwa gana napatia na ati ngoma na perform ngoma 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 uh... like but sasa ni ikaingia 2020 ndo nilikuwa naona like i break nimekuwa nayo plus nimelana lot na nime na lyrically wise nime grow acha ni hit the boot sasa mm-hmm. don't need to decide so going to studio officially so you 2020 sasa um also ma will paradokiasi ku and a studio i guess mm. now you're not in school um you're living on your own ulikuwa yeah. nafanaje kuji cuz and then you've been very like serious about okay i'm trying to provide for myself i'm a man i'm mm. you know like you especially in the world that you're in you're on your own yeah, najua kuna sure. kuna mama kuna kuna yeah. mzae yeah. you know the situation back home with yeah. grandma so yeah. i guess yeah. how are you now providing for yourself do you ko huku peke yako uh reminds me okay my ilikuwa kama boys wangu ni to reads we were in the same high school okay school kipedi di pedi jo aha na hiyo ndo ilikuwa kuna ngoma ulisema ulikuwa anga pedi alafu kuna interview ulisema kuna ulikuwa pedi wa manguo so ni very funny ju ulikuwa nasema wewe ni ile ile pedi wa manguo just in case mbangana ni saka jo akina mave sema jo mimi nilikuwa pedi wa makladi but at one point we decide to watch to jaribu hivyo cuz Funny thing even the guy I was rolling with got no role na yam is on mali alko that guy had an airplane bro alko j what had an airplane airplane yeah, then he is alko an airplane alko j so it, this is an airplane student and a b student peding to go na is it peding or peddling peddling, peddling. <laughs> yo it was crazy here i am with my b here my bro has an a, a. and my z really end up to bro and he, for him school wasn't working bro mm. he, he also wanted to be a rapper okay and so here i am too i want to be a rapper and we need to get money for the studio so there's a guy i could come through i can be an age in konomali jona dem school me i see kabidi jo and so yeah eh upon we go na get do yetu kiasi but to cut decide to come just to drop mhm kachana na your story cuz eh to face it rough one time bro okay and we learned from it okay. um i don't know where i read or saw this we learned from it did you go <laughs> my homie rodirich and samanga a vacation did you take a vacation did you have to go ulmulifungwa ah kitu kaya hiyo man naomba mazee tulilan the hard way mazee 2019 11th january uh. it was it was that it was it was it was it was just a bad day mazee and um while catch up na cc we learned our lesson bro tuka have ku yeah to lipia makosa to do of course mm-hmm. ka kawaida yeah we, we got reminded mm-hmm. for for months four months yeah. what was that like because you know you know I, the reason i'm asking these questions is because you've been through a whole lot of life <laughs> And like a lot of people uh, know, I, a lot of people can't even understand bro. or even yeah, think about right. like the life you've lived ni wase wana rapping <laughs> shit lakini like hawaliving <laughs> shit tukaenda tukaenda ndai ukweli ukweli man acha watu wana rap sio nasema ni ni ku rap lakini wajai wajai wana hiyo shit eh mimi na boys wangu tukaingia hapo hivyo 
it will go to any Did your family know where you are? Amma? Never. They will never know, bro. Unless they watch this. I, unless they watch this. I swear, I want to read you. Uh, guy. Uh, they will never know. And uh, that time, bro. So I'm sure that was a lot of deep reflection. Because four months is a long fucking time. Like, your life can change in four months. Live alone four months. You know, Chiki. Like, the day we got arrested, we were calling at a police station. Mm-hmm. That night alone, bro. You know, we were just in the room. We were in the room. We were in the room. Bro. Have you done English kwa kivest? Mm. Sema baridi. Like you know, wow, banging go allegedly. The watu wanasamanga kwa mnet. Bro, mazili go crazy man. And so So wale wasaka ama mlishikwa tu kibaya. Wameshikutusaka lakini your day. Ni ile day yani wale sema ndo hawa. Na usiki was yani tulioni wa mali kwa hiyo vote kwa mbotu smame. Mingambia bro mazini la siku man. Hakuna other was yani when you talk with you cuz I couldn't see that you to bail out but you know the okay. craziest or the saddest thing is you guys are smart people it's just yeah, sure. you know you, like you can literally you can't afford school yeah, you're yeah. smart enough to go to school but like life like but i will go to school one day that's okay. one thing i promised bro a life for real i know I what would you go to, go to school, school for if you could go back if or I, when you do I go back go when back you do go school, back what would you go back for i know i can't i can't maybe do law anymore cuz maybe yeah, maybe they won't take a, the the they won't consider the, the the grade and everything but mm-hmm. uh i'm passionate about real estate mm-hmm. and maybe that's something i would i would really want to dig deep into nice yeah either real estate or ir international relations okay but i will go man for real when you invest to real las vegas you it's to me i have been to vegas it's not all that but oh, okay i've been to vegas i've been, I've been to vegas it's not all that uh, but you you have a dream to have a house in uh, las vegas tell me about the dream it's beverly hills or or las vegas na kuganiza option bili so okay beverly hills so okay mwa kuna tuacha tujuange tu mapema Trombe uh-huh. tu kweli. Jo, you know being a step because uh acha na feel like iko na feel like ni poa pia ile generation yangu ita come after mimi is different mm-hmm. environment. Yeah. Na I know I, I believe it's not it's not a mistake. Kusema mm-hmm. yo maze Kenya goodbye. I'm I'm going to start a new life somewhere else and everything. So for me yani nilijipa that nikipenda Las Vegas. I used to nilikuwa na tikingi wase wanaangalizo kids are then on a post youtube yeah. you just are realist yeah. and everything zile ma million dollar yeah, homes ma 3 million dollar yeah. home 4 million dollar yeah. home kama tu watu wa hivyo si jui ma views zingine hata wezi elewa sasa hizo views unacheki venye hiyo view venye na car unacheki hiyo kids venye miss mama unacheki neighborhood and i'm like bro iko siku mazenta on kids up the sky inshallah and so all along ni mekwa ni kitembea di kwa bayo yangu kiangalia ni maandika from ghetto to Beverly Hills because mm. it's either Beverly Hills ama Las Vegas maze okay. but ina kwa gani hii kitu ili ni drive crazy kona how beautiful that place is maze hiyo place wana showcase and plus I studied um, you know I even followed I follow anything related to Las Vegas on mm. Instagram I just wanna know what's <laughs> yeah. going on in Las Ukifika Vegas ukifika usi usiko na kati ujui Beverly Hills <laughs> You could see how beautiful the city is man hey and i'm like mosaic see cool man and so nika samanta hold on to this dream either mimi or whoever comes after me will own a house in las vegas that's super dope yeah, that's so sure. i'm curious about something mm. um when you sent me music in 2022 yeah. you told me to listen to coming home closely is um <coughs> maybe i'm saying the name of the song wrong yeah, come, home. come home you told yeah. me to listen to come home closely yeah, yeah sure bro so i listened to it closely uh. but then i was i, I want to know is the story real because bro, and and, and i'm i'm cuz it's deep it's perfect it's very very deep it's perfect and it's like deep. a long song yeah. but like it's it, the, the length is justifiable but tell me about that story of that song for ease come home was inspired by two situations mm-hmm my own story and my close friend story okay. it happened like this so uh upon kumada high school i had a girlfriend do una sema kwa kwa hiyo description ulisema never leave a child never leave a girl who has your child yeah, alone yeah, exactly so umbo, and then you know also on your side and i'm just assuming at this point yeah 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 your dad left you yeah exactly so, so and i don't know if you know the j cole song of like how did your dad leave you and then now you leave me like uh, lost ones you know lost yes, ones right bro, one of my favorite sure. songs but uh, like i guess is it that did you i so, do you have kids 
No, I don't. Okay. Definitely, I don't. Okay. Of course, if I had, I would <laughs> never walk away from that kid. Definitely. Yeah. The thing was, so like since high school, we, we used to be lovers back in high school. Mm. So we decided after form four to talk about the lovers. You mm. feel me? And so she was she was coming from Riara. I saw many little kids on the go kwa streets. So we gonna meet once in a while. I put out this flying into fritters. I put. Not your fritters. Bad way, go. Bad way, go. And so ah. Okay, actually, lovers do things that lovers do. And so one time, she's texting me and tells me, you know, Johnny Aze, was this in Yenshi, man? Fuck. And I feel like, man, they, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we panic, bro. You feel me, bro? I'm like, eh. You say, man, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, man. You know, 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 you How come, man? What do you expect, man? And she was like, I can't see my... Yo, I can see my periods and it's worrying me. And I'm like, okay, so I chat to chill to never you to end. The full So you're scared I'm on a fikiria. Don't be panic, bro. Do you know what you want to say idea? So you want to say I'm toy age. For real, bro. I love you sir. Your time una jiambia. Wait, kwanza from nowhere like this is your dad, bro. Na anza je man. Na anza je no juo una jiambia mzee you can't do this and everything. Then the mother called me. Mother would him yeah. fuck kanambia Okay how to me ile statement wa Kenya usema itume haribia msichana wangu maisha mm. alinambia I want you to see me and if you don't see me I'll call the police on you yeah, that statement broke me because I was like ah. then that night I started kuna kitu ilikuwa ina hit kwa kile yangu na jambia ah mi mi mtu guys kwa wangu juu ama labda alienda kagawa mi si amini juu mimi na jomo nangi sana so anyway but ni lava yako lakini eh mwanzi yangu lakini na mwanga once in a while plus mimi na jua plot game yangu bro ilienda group of schools na jua so hezi kwa hezi kwa ni mimi man so i started scribbling something that night nikijiambia so na muandikia na muambia okay regardless of all this may happen Najiambia sasa kwa ngoma najiambia mzee mm. I might leave lakini I don't really want to leave ni venya situation tu ina nikalia hard and everything then the following day she calls me akiniambia aliamka akapata ananyesha wa wow. so it was late whatever yeah. i think I, kuna wana kwa gana late sasa zingine eh yeah, zingine uh. i got relieved bro and that day i told her i can't do this anymore and mzee acha tu tuachi hapo cuz in as happen in real life so hata huko meet mother yake huko so hata ujue angekuambia nini angeniambia nini so your story nikaiachia tu hapo hiyo time idea ilikuwa sha enroll yale kwa shinge ya desta but they kufanya law mm kaambia mzee hiyo time mzee sasa we maintain just going with your life go zuri man cuz now feel like it in as happen in real life na mimi tell me but i had already scribbled scribble something because you must stay footer okay as aniache tu hapo But again I know my dad left so it can also make sense then like few months later my friend now my friend the okay and it was Zen 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 alko bestangu to since to go to here and ambia mze mi era na drop shule niko na ball na sisi toa na uchalia amenitoka mm-hmm. and now Jen was sending me screenshots so uchalia akimwambia ah huyu mtu hisi wangu nini nini the same thing uchalia nafikiria ndo mimi nafikiria team poor girl uh, unajua i think see what it talk on the evil wana wame talk on the very funny yeah, very funny <laughs> like unafikiria ah, ah the last time bro ilikuwa safe how come unasema uko na ball unajua so like unafikiria maybe aligawa and that that chick was like really really facing it and from that inspiration I had to go back and complete the song. Okay. And that's how I came up with that whole song. <laughs> how we met because I had to pick up how how yeah na we were all meet so nikajeka kwa situation yo boy pia nikijiambia I know it could be hard in the streets I know it could be hard with school and everything but the fact that I I got you pregnant I have no reason to leave you mm. I have to to know when you could end and you make sure I'm there for the kid and you And even if you didn't know how you're going to be able to do it you were exactly. st- still willing to figure yeah, it out exactly because bro uh we are believers bro and this god who watches definitely and so me she feel she believe uh, um trainer as a calm na god that um to your struggle mm. so obviously angefungwa doma hali una get and so that's what inspired the whole story in kajambia have you ever seen her again 
this love uh, of this high school sweetheart of yours this ah to show to meet archive same flani akasamaje is all grown now uh-huh. and i'm 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 all grown too we just like talked for like five minutes how are you doing good yeah because i'm good and everything and she's a big fan by the okay she, she shares my music till date and to let you know zuri because me nilikuwa na woga mingi sana okay and bro it's gonna die kabisa man so you figure out very early that you can rap and you pursue that and you focus on music because even you're very you've been you've been very intentional since even high school and said okay i'm yeah. going to focus on music i'm sure. going to focus on music i'm going to focus on music i'm a big believer in like seeing is believing in the sense of if you see someone doing something you know it's possible yeah, for but sure. i guess with you and music kuna msani labda ulikona joke you grow up i'm only check you kasama kama ya anaweza pia mimi naweza because like did you have any inspiration like at home maybe in coast or kaka uh, like who 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 did you even have a chance to look up to that see, was close enough to you you could be like okay umse na mjona amefanya amefanya stuff ame make okay me since day one me a very big fan of calligraph bro okay. so me seeing calligraph growing up into becoming one of the biggest rappers in africa that alone is an inspiration mm-hmm. and for me like i would listen to a lot of calligraph jones music man and like closely look at his journey the far he's come and how people would tell him yo switch your flow because you're not from Canada. yeah you can't drop in english rap kigero junior kigero and he had to stick to what he believe he strongly believes yeah. in and for me that's where the inspiration came in like it came really hit hard and i felt like yo bro if kali right now is one of the best rappers in africa bro getting all the respect from big names like sakodi bro i'm also going to do this and minga jambia i can't i can siku school like i can do this nili jambia i will do this and i'm going to do this and me i will bro you tell on to just a matter of time bro um, so it was calligraph jones calligraph jones mm. um producer wise mm-hmm. um of course we can all see your talent now mm-hmm. but then early on i guess Okay na kama studio what was like were producers understanding your vision I'm well kwa took a bit kama like I guess how was that cuz before you find your sound it takes time how did you find your sound cuz even when you go to the studio the first time you're not there then you go back yeah, yeah. so I guess how, how do you find how does this process okay. work out for you The thing is for me I never had a beat from a producer I would choose my beats from YouTube mm-hmm. And so me nilikuwa tunaenda na beat kwa producer na mjenga zake za macho na ni record. Okay. So hakuna producer shaingilia sound yangu. Anything mm. naenda na alikuwa na record. Okay. Eh uh, hakuna Danish about a chance ya kukana producer chini to make beat. For the first time nimekana producer chini to make beat ilikuwa Afm. Wow. First bro, time ever. First time bro. Hizo beat zote nimetumia za YouTube bro. Wow wow. So wow. bro all the beats ni za YouTube. That's why all those songs was not was like going on rotation but I wasn't getting paid. True. Yeah because Sina writes the song Goma. Okay. So it was a from the first time That's I crazy. sat down with the producer making a beat from scratch to say from. So Niki chapa chapa hizi ma ID na manini nini nimekucheki na Span. Aha. Nimekucheki na Nyash. Nimekucheki na Nameless. Ana cheki Bosire anapenda kazi yako sana. Sure bro. Um na pia naona grind yako. So Bro hata kukaribia nyash ni ngori. Yeah, sure. Kuona nyash ni ngumu sana. Yeah, um yeah. kupatana na kina span pia but like you're close to these people. Do yeah. they, what does that feel like for you? Does it feel like okay I'm getting there or is it I guess what's that like for you? Cuz you're, you're next to you like, you yeah. talked about listening to nameless growing yeah, up. Sure, you talked about being a big fan of calligraph yeah. and calligraph I'm mean, even the song you talk about mebonga na calligraph I'm yeah. sure I'm sure I, I'm Jacosa. Calligraph is so in tune with the game. I'm yeah, sure yeah. anakujua kama ama anajua. So I guess what's that like cuz now you're seeing the people who you look up to yeah. giving you advice or bigging you up for your t- cuz you're talented. Like yeah, I guess how sure, does that bro. feel? Uh first it makes me just say thank you to God cuz uh, at one point I would sit down and imagine myself, you know, l- sitting down with some big names making them listen to my music mm. me listening to theirs and i can even tell you on that day i even i was even listening to unreleased songs by nyashi feel me you mm. know i had that privilege yeah, and unreleased songs okay i played him mine 
and it, it was such a vibe and I, at one point Lamaz came Afam, you know my email but send me that unreleased <laughs> <laughs> not uh, not Nyashinsky <laughs> unreleased I want yeah I want young boy I want to trigger young boy unreleased I have so many unreleased with uh, yeah, okay. yeah for real so I have like 24 unreleased and a and a super drum nice yeah, so like um and for me I feel I feel so happy genuinely happy and I feel like I'm really getting there cuz you know feel like Kalamaz coming to the studio that's insane bro and you know he started rapping before yeah. calligraphy he's got he's, he's a pro, he's been a producer he's done gospel for he's real. done like rap like he's huge so him like Ali Chizongo man na producer wangu mwingine anaitwa KK hapo and he was like unani then KK alikuwa like new le boy and he was like oh this song is bad bro and he he was so he he loved the the lyrics the vibe and everything and he told me yo uh, uh stuck to promise but and do kitu na get and i felt so nice man i felt so uplifted i felt like this hard work mazi ile ile kuroka na rokanga kuandika hizi mangoma inaanza ku pay off and so i felt so nice listening sitting down with shinsky telling me you know giving me lifetime adverse and named us to it's going to feel too heartwarming maze and kasema yeah it may take a little bit longer but i'll get there eventually yeah and by the way if you don't give up you're yeah, set for, sure. you're set for greatness like you're on the right path i, give up, I just bro. don't know if you have it if you keep going by the way it's yeah. really going to take off for you giving up is not even in my dictionary man okay hey, see where is this okay. this mom if i'm knows bro. so i had a beef with you because i was yeah. wondering why are none of your songs on streaming platforms <laughs> but now talking to you i understand you can't yeah, put those songs exactly. on streaming platforms yeah. because i've looked for them the only thing i could yeah. find was rainy days yeah yeah um guess. betty and Kiba- betty and kibanja betty and, and hello, and hello. So I'm like bro the reason you're not blowing up is because your music is not on streaming. Exactly, Literally bro. I feel like that's the one thing that's holding you back because imagine you would get playlisted, yeah, people would yeah. be able to discover your music but the only place people can find your music is YouTube. YouTube. And honestly we have to fix that because yeah, definitely, bro. that's the number one issue I had. I'm like bro you're not on streaming how do you expect to blow? Yeah, like it makes true. no sense like yeah, yeah, you can get played on radio but then if someone wants to hear that song again people go to Spotify or they go to Boomplay they go yeah. to Apple Music. Yeah, but true, bro. That's that's the biggest thing that's holding you back in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, and that's fucked and that's why I'm telling you before I was like really really doing using YouTube beats and mm. you can definitely share the music on these other streaming platforms apart from YouTube. Yeah. And so when I, when I linked up with my bro Airfam, then we started making beats from scratch. There's also another producer called KK. Mm-hmm. Started making beats from scratch with Uno as well. Shout out so, Uno. Yeah, shout out to big shout out to Uno. So for me now from now overseas and more songs they all they are all going to be on all digital all all streaming platforms amazing that's fact man and for me that's a big win cuz all my life i've been waiting for this time mm. this day when all my music w- can be streamed on spotify and all over and so yeah so expect more music on all these streaming platforms nice more music so is tell us about super drum um I guess you've been a lot of your stuff you say you're not signed. Yeah, yeah. But I guess um how did you connect with Superdrum specifically and I guess what's the relationship or the partnership? Uh uh okay with Superdrum uh, actually uh, I was I was taken there by a friend, a female friend. A uh, big shout out to IC her name is IC. IC IC we used to rap together and so I can connect to Bosire. Shout out Bosire. Yeah, uh, big shout out to Bosire then Bosire told me yo come come make music with us. Then I met with A Farm mm-hmm. and we just vibed man and Super Drum is just is is So is when did you fun, I guess bro. when did you guys when did you when was this happening like when did you start Like 2 months ago bro Really yeah, just 2 months yeah. and you're 24 songs in Sint- was it, two it was like 2 isn't it Ama I think it was maybe like 3 3 three? Yeah. say 3 three. Okay yeah. say at most 3 right at most 3 months you can imagine i already have like 24 songs yeah bro. yeah at most 3 so you can imagine and super drum shown me love bro all all, all days all the time when he show love and it's such a family one day i feel so motivated kwa kuna seka fm busire and the key, they always have in one way or another they always have a way of making me go harder okay cuz Nikki drop ngoma na FM Leo if I do a song with FM right now believe me the next song I'm doing with Alpha I must go harder mm. two times or even three times Why? harder than I did Why? Because I have to prove to him that yo I'm worth this His time yeah, or I'm what? Wa- I'm worth this this chance that you gave me you feel because okay. back then it wasn't the same case back then 
studio fees are, are kind of very high. expensive yeah, and here especially are, good production good is production hard is you know hard to, to, you know it's very hard to raise that amount of of, of studio fees and so even i can't afford a farm <laughs> nah <laughs> this nigga expensive <laughs> <laughs> so me working with, with like someone like elfom i know elfom is producing for kina bn yeah yeah if, if, if I like it feels so humbling at the same time i feel honored and working with such a big name bro will naturally make you always want to go hard and, and even hard dream bigger because you can see how far bro. you can probably take it definitely bro and so for me super drum is just a family and i believe we're going to make more 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 good songs manze So I'm very curious about your writing process mm-hmm. because I love how um <coughs> you've said you've incorporated your real life and I heard you talk about somewhere where you talked about like wanting your music to mean something and being intentional about your writing. Yeah, so okay. I guess explain to me your writing process. So like now you have the opportunity now now there's no limit for you you're able to work <coughs> with beats that you're able to yeah. work with the producer and building them mm-hmm. you're able to work on your songs and you you have studio time which is something that's expensive and not accessible like now what's your writing process like? Uh, for me like uh whenever whenever i get the beat first i have to like vibe with the beat mm-hmm. before writing down my lyrics then i have to figure out nini nini ina go around like qualify yango ma qualify wa see sa easy then you know the cutting and you know the andika and you know they put into writing if it's a gangeton beat or a drill beat or an emotional beat you know as long as the beat is already made it's, it's there then I, i first vibe with the beat then come up with an idea and a topic and i make sure niko niko ni na make sure si toki in the your topic from okay. the hook to the verses so for me first i really take time to vibe with the beat if it's a club banger club banger kutengeneza ni rahisi but if it's a deep song i take my time to think deep to think how i'm going to place my lyrics my rhyme the switch flows in between cuz mm. i'm really good at switching flows and all that so i f- i believe that's how that's how i come with my uh, that's how i come up with my lyrics okay yeah first vibing to the beat kwanza um curious about something when yeah. i listen to a lot of like, i guess i'll start with like the songs that have been really The re- we have had really dope reception yeah. you do something where you mention people and you use different like, like you 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 use relatability but also you use like you show love to different people yeah, exactly. is that like is that intentional i'm that's just your like, i'm i'm curious if that's your writing style like when you like a song like larry madao yeah. or like even naruto overseas like i see you i see how you piece like pictures together yeah, yeah, yeah it's intentional bro I don't do it just for the sake of doing it. I'm always having intentions. If I did like Larry Mado it cuz Larry Mado used to, to inspire me. I used to watch him and he is he's doing big things. That's why I had to do it. It was inspired by Larry Mado. Okay. Overseas inspired by the fact that I want to own a home on Dane, Beverly Hills or Las Vegas. So it is always intentional. Okay. Yeah. With overseas um on your youtube there's a different overseas but i'm assuming that's like off a youtube beat so now yeah, when you yeah. come to approach this new overseas where like the production is by afam mm. i guess you do you refine the song or like cuz the song is not necessarily the same yeah, yeah, yeah. but then it's refined i guess now how how does that happen yeah okay the the thing is i wanted to come up with two versions of overseas mm-hmm. an emo- on one to on a hard beat on mm-hmm. a hard drill beat and one on an emotional beat so that i can give you both both uh, both vibes and that's why uh, i once did an over a song called overseas but it's different from the it one that's yeah it's, it's completely yeah, different it's like because i listened to that one and then i listened to that it's one more melodic yeah it's very diff- the sound is so different yeah, from the one that you just dropped exactly yeah. bro exactly bro so like um it was uh it was just like uh, i wanted just to give people different vibes but talking about the same thing but different lines different flow different everything okay yeah Um I was curious about something if you could have like a mega remix let's say you take a you you get all of your faves you know remember like how back in the day like DJ Khaled remixes or like proper remixes <laughs> and I feel like you guys can make it happen like who what song would it be mm-hmm. that's like you know this one needs to go like this one's going yeah. but then you have your version Uh-huh. and then now you have a remix uh-huh. i'm curious what song is it uh-huh. of course we've not heard it uh-huh. but then who is on your remix because you you have access to everybody now for me yeah 
Um, so I, I actually sent you a track. Okay. Um, it's called Hosanna. Hosanna. And I want to do like... A, I have this. Okay, I dope. I want to do like an experiment. Um, <laughs> this is going to be like a exclusive. Okay. It's an exclusive drop. It's an exclusive! <laughs> <laughs> so we can, we can listen to it. Okay. And there is a space after his second hook. Okay. And we can figure out together who fits there because you I know hear you yeah because there. you know what threw me off is yeah. i was listening to the song um the one that you said major is featured on and i'm literally sitting there the whole time waiting for major <laughs> and then I, I listened to it again i'm like there's no major on this song Bro, and then people in the comments are like yeah, i'm like where's the major i'm like so because that song threw me off while i i was manifesting bro I even thought maybe Ningoma Usha make me to my major on Gojia verse. Bro, I waited for major verse the whole time. Really? It does, but then the song doesn't need a major verse. But I figured uh, major was going to come at somewhere. At one point, bro, nearly I'm if I'm 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 not I'm never getting any any any, any good studio. I'll be doing songs then I write whoever. We work to kind of true, man. Because the funniest <laughs> shit ever. The other day I was interviewing this chick and then she's like, I have a song to recross. So, bro, we've done an interview, we played it, and then it's AI. Oh. So she has Recross on a song AI because it's not I on Recross's Spotify. It. It's not on Recross's it. Apple Music. Bro. But she's over here saying, I can't come on Recross. I'm like, uh, Recross respectful. doesn't know you. Like, he could she, sue you for she, days. She, but it's like the AI. She has an AI Recross verse. No, but that's but So we can get like a major AI verse, get a yeah, Shinsky exactly. AI verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the time he, she's being sued and she's doing something, right? She'll be known. Cause, cause yes, exactly. Because me, I gave her a chance because I'm like, Recross, how did you yeah. find Recross? Yeah. Maybach music. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, it's not even Recross. Yeah. It's a crazy world. That's fire. That's fire, huh? Yeah, no, for real. Like, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a manifesting thing. Yeah, you manifest. Um, but sometimes you have to take those risks. <laughs> yeah, those yeah, are risky yeah. risks. It's risky, but like, it could pay off. Okay, I want us to do this. So we're going to play Hosanna. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I play two times? And yeah, then we, uh, yeah, then we come sure, back and figure sure. out who I hear, what I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, So you introduce this record. Tell us about this record or introduce the record and then we'll, we'll premiere it. Grip, pa, 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 pa. Tuko radio 254 ni mekam kwa show venye sezo boso ni shike a ah, tuko radio 254 ni mekam kwa show venye sezo boso ni shike kama do ambia lari pia mimi na saka mado gang yo razi na sema no and coming slow f1 bro tuko radio 254 tuna run 254 yo it's your boy but it's boy in the scene but boy young boy and so this next track is called hosana hosana is literally talking about um when i'm coming through people be praising hosana but at the same time much as you praising the vibe and everything i have a thing to uh, I, i have a bond to chew with girls who don't stick to one person they keep hoeing so that's <laughs> <laughs> that is dope all right ladies and gentlemen this is a world premiere this is hosana by by trigger young boy but it's born the scene 237 thicker what's up let's get it But boy and boy, young boy, young boy. Presidential ki Obama, mindo wa bomb ki Osama. Venye na kama wana Hosanna, na ukopa matemu wana Hosanna. Wana Hosanna, na ukopa matemu wana Hosanna. Wana Hosanna. Presidential ki Obama, mindo wa bomb ki Osama. Venye na kama wana Hosanna, na ukopa matemu wana Hosanna. Wana Hosanna, na ukopa matemu wana Hosanna. Wana Hosanna, na ukopa matemu wana Hosanna. Presidential ki Obama, mindo wa bomb ki Osama. Fanya tena kama jana naleta hit kama sama venye na soza wana hama na ipiti na gonga kama hama na sit my lens kama tori mapema ndo best money glory ah uh, nimekam kwa scene si wa hame na wapo wajo wa iname wana dai my pole kaka game weka mnako ni wachane na kasku dai ni wachane lick slide we to us kwangi right kani up na mto on side ni zaliwa get on a try to fight do your farm all day all night i pray be a sisi to on your light no boy ako juka sky au kai Oni take you go tell it good it penga na ask me ni put it on off kisha master the jupiter ke imi na rinka ni kita wana punja shingo ni kipita presidential ki obama mindo wa bomb ki osama venye na kama wana hosana na ukopa matemu wana hosana wana hosana na ukopa matemu wana hosana wana hosana 
kezi techo ki Obama Mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana na ugopo matemu wana hosana Mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Presidential ki Obama Mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Yo that is fire. Straight out of super drum. Straight out of super drum. Trigger, young boy, young boy, trigger. All right, one more time. This is Hosanna exclusive Radio 254. Let's get it. You guys, let us know who you think you hear on this song. I have some ideas, but I'm going to let you guys also let us know. So let's get it. Hosanna. Mademo na Hosanna. But boy, young boy, young boy, young boy. Presidential ki Obama, mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana, na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana, na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Presidential ki Obama, mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana, na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana, na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana, na ugopo matemu wana hosana Shoki Obama, window wa bomb ki Osama Na ifwanya denga kama jana, na leta heat kama sama Venye na zoza wana hama, na ibiti na gonga kama hama Na sit my lens kama tori, mapema ndo best morning glory Nimeka mkwa sinzi wa hame, na wapo wajo wa iname Wana die my pole kakagame, welcome na chrome Ni wachane, na kasku die ni wachane, liki slide wetu wa skwangi This man has bars guys, are you listening? This man has bars! We are from all day, all night, I play piano Sisi ki on your light No boy ako juka sky ya ukai Oni teki kwa tele ki butita Penga na ask me ni butita Na off kisha master di jupita Ke imi na rinka ni kita Wana punja shingo ni kipita Presidential ki Obama Mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Presidential ki Obama Mindo wa bomb ki Osama Venya na kamu wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Wana hosana Na ugopo matemu wana hosana Yo, I want it to be said, this man doesn't need no features. He can hold it on his own. I think you can hold it on your own. I don't think you need features. No, he can, but I, I want to hear what you think. What, what, do, what do you think, think in terms of who like, do you who think do you think can fill that space? Ni drill am gani una feel anaweza fill your space? Ama wa gani una feel anaweza fill your space? You know who just confuses the fuck out of me? Domani uh-huh. Munga. Okay. I feel like Munga does the opposite of everything what people want him to do. Like and like the other day someone was saying, you guys talk shit and then you don't understand, you don't understand like all the Wakadinali hooks. It's Munga. It's Munga. Yeah. I mean, Skak and rap, 
no discussion on that one. Yeah, yeah. So can Munga, so can Suicida, bro. Yeah. All of them can hold it on their own. But there's a way Munga is like he's rambling, yeah, and but he's yeah. making sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you know, people don't listen to music. Like if you listen, like Munga is, is just different. Mm. So I feel like <clears throat> that beat is heavy, mm. and then I love your your wordplay yeah, and your yeah. writing. So the way you the way you flow through it yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel like the most unexpected thing for me would be a munga verse like oh, i was yeah. like huh you, did, 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 <laughs> did, did, uh, have you gotten the line where i'm saying when you check your hotel kibuti yeah kibuti ta yeah pengana ask me ni booty eater <laughs> <laughs> i didn't get the booty eater but i had the booty eater you know what i'm saying like but honestly on the ke imina ring eh eh ke imina ring Kinikita. Yeah, Nikita. Yeah, Nikita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, word play was crazy. I was watching something where you said like you're a fan of Brooklyn Boys and you would, yeah, you know sure. like you respect what they've done and you yeah. feel like that'd be a dope collab. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that's gonna happen in due time because um they're gonna see what you're doing and they're gonna yeah. they're gonna have mutual respect because you know also I feel like a big thing with features is mutual respect. Yeah, sure. Um someone has to respect you and you have to respect them and yeah, th- so so I feel like sometimes you can do a feature with someone and like not friends ni let it be that eh shika vas alafu ku promote ataka kusaidia ku promote utamkome mlipa atakuja atakuja interview sema ah nililipwa that's some yeah, fucked up shit like I'm sure, like bro bro. like I feel like features should be based on mutual respect. Yeah exactly. Um but I guess Who do you who do you, who would you feel on that track? Brooklyn Boys bro in a time in a day. Bro. Okay. Both M right and AJ or M right alone or AJ alone? Both or if not both then AJ. Okay. Cuz yo me I have with your music okay. bro. Do you have the number I might give you guys? <laughs> you should like tell them you listen to this track what do you think? <laughs> I definitely have the number. <laughs> ah, you know, the oh, thing, it's the, ready here. The, the number is now he's starting to introduce myself it's, it's going to take us long cuz bro I remember there's a time we call I think it's their manager uh, I, yeah. Ali oh yeah, yeah. anyway uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay tell me your YouTube Ah, kombe YouTube sina kitu man mm. akaniambia sasa itakuwa impossible sisi mm. kusikiza na una anything you feel me okay nikamwambia basi ni kutumia audio zangu usikiza akaniambia z tunataka mm. kuona kazi you youtube if yeah. you and so I've always wanted to work with people is cuz money respect the Shout art people, yeah. and uh, we in the same age bracket yeah. tunaza vibe vizuri sana mm. you know so na pia wall and officially 2020 yeah. kama mimi like the, the, same the same time the same time no, there's, so vila, many things, yeah, there's so many things we have in common with b-boys and i love their music so much so inshallah and b-boys mazi tunaza kill your track mbaya sana ambia afa ma atengeneza studio session tufanyie kitu so let me say this <laughs> bro um i you know i don't know if he he mentioned um Trigger is a testament of persistence. Mm. Bro, he DM'd me from 2022. From t- yeah, so like, bro, consistently. <laughs> like, emailed me music, told me to listen to this specific song. He was so, like, yeah. And he shows like, yo, I want a show. I want to do, like, I want to do different things. He shows me the DMs that he sent people. And I'm usually like, bro, this guy's out here, like, really grinding. But, you know, when he came to the studio, at first I was like, bro, you know, I'm, I have so much stuff going on. On your plate. So it, t- it took a while before we actually recorded something. It took, like, a, like at least, like, like three three weeks and he but he kept on like hounding me from let's make music let's make music let's make music and then i i was like bro one day i just like bro <laughs> just okay you know what let's go and the very because fu- i saw you on your tiktok making a drill beat but i was like where is this going <laughs> you know because i've been seeing you know your tiktoks you're making movements yeah, yeah. And, and and bro the f- very first thing we made overseas like First song, first thing we've mm. ever made together overseas and it's fire. But Straight Smash. I know, but the thing is we're just getting better. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you've listened to Hosanna. Yeah. We made that together and that's the source. I, any producers listening right now, that's the actual source. Making music together with the artist, mm. that's where it is because there's there's certain things in that beat where I was like, "Nah, I want to like do something else." But I was like, "No, bro, 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 you have to do this." Mm. And that's why the song is fire. Yeah, that's why sure. the song is fire because yeah. of the the input he was giving me. So he's he's a testament of just persistent and never like backing down and always being like really eager to record to write mm. and that's why that's why I fuck with him cuz man uh, you know i guess let me ask you a couple of questions bro um i'm curious about um you know like a lot of people i'm meeting these days they're working on youtube beats and yeah. like 
because I don't know, finding a producer to one make time for you, affording a producer, and then it's like it's just a hustle. The cost, the the the, the opportunity is hard to come by. Um, I was talking about the other day the SoundCloud era. Like, bro, the SoundCloud era was so special to Kenyan music because that's when we were finding the Expressos and the Jason Kalinga. Bro, the the rabbit holes of SoundCloud, bro. TG Black. TG. There's so there's yeah. so many dope people from like there's so many dope people from that SoundCloud era. I feel like that's where the best Kenyan music is hidden. Like when I go into my bro, I used to spend seven hours just next. That's where I'm from. Seven. Like I'm like lost in that world. It's so incredible. So it's yeah. like it's really dope that now someone like um Young Boy Trigger or Trigger <laughs> Young Boy, um, it comes from that YouTube era. And even Brooklyn Boys when I met them, they were rapping off YouTube beats. On YouTube, yeah. And it's like now you see them now creating their own sound. Cause like you can see the input. He ha he knows what he wants his sound to sound like. So I guess um, when you, I guess, how, how did you, okay, he was brought to you, but then I guess how does, how do you, you, how do you what did you see in him? Because okay. you're, you're, you're spending time, you're investing in this. I guess, what do you see in him? Like I said, it's the persistence and just the consistency. And he's, he's really, so there's one thing I've really um, recognized in artists. So I've been in the studio with like the likes of Boutros mm. and, and now Trigger, like, they have something in common where it's like they have a real work ethic, and um, you'd see Butros like you see him. He's a, he's a, just a character. Yeah. He's always playful, you know, yeah. whatever. But when he's in the studio, he's in the studio and he's mm -hmm. working. And Trigger has that. He has that thing where he's in the studio. He's writing. He's taking it super seriously. And we are writing songs in thirty minutes, and it's done. Start and to finish. Yeah, like I'm telling yeah. you, like bro, bro is a machine. <laughs> like actually, it's actually actually me who is limited because i feel like if 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 he had his way we could be doing like five songs a Daily, day bro. <laughs> like five, five songs a day uh, yeah, easy sure. uh, easy without even sweating man yeah, bro. so 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 that's what drew me to trigger it's <laughs> okay. just the fact that he has the drive that, like, and the work ethic exactly and he's fire <laughs> so. <laughs> so as super drum um you guys have done a really good job in terms of singles um there's the iana single you guys dropped the benzema single there's uh -huh. different singles um when you have a talent like this, I guess, what's the plan? Because okay. now it's like, okay, where do we... Like, he's talented. The only thing now you have to push him. Yes. And, and bro showed up on time, bro. On time. So, check, check, check. Like, he's not going to be fucking... You know, like, you guys, yeah. I, they show up at 10 p.m. The interview is supposed to be 7 to 10. Like, so, yeah. he's respecting people. He's putting himself out there. Because also, I, I told someone the other day, like, the worst thing you can ever have in life, someone who doesn't want to... Could you too many? Very important. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people who... You have to want, like no one can put want inside you. Like no one tells you wake up in the morning, go do this. Come out, like if you don't, like that's just something you have to have in you. But like, I guess what's the plan for for him and the music that you guys are making is, I guess, and you've also studied enough now where you're like, okay, an EP maybe, a single here maybe, maybe a project, I guess. What, what's, the, what's the thoughts that you're having? Okay, so I mean, the things that we do at Superdrum for the time being <laughs> is very uh, centered on artist development. Mm -hmm. And artist development, I feel like, unfortunately, the time we're in, a short attention span, exactly. people aren't really consuming albums and long form content from unknown individuals. Mm. And for me personally, I actually think artist development is like a calling at this point. But you see, the thing is, you, you're seeing it where it's like, there's a need. There's a lot of there's a need for artist development because yes. like you can't just put a song out and then you need to yeah. out like that's not enough. So 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 for Trigger, I think what we're gonna do well, what we are gonna do is we're gonna release a couple of singles, mm -hmm. Hosanna being one of them, <laughs> and we wanna just gain momentum for him and then release a short project, probably like five to six songs EP, you know, quick and to the point, and then from there we can see if we can work on long form projects like an album etc. But that's kind of the thing. This is the, the classic idea: three, two to three singles mm -hmm. and then EP. So that's kind of the idea we have for Trigger, and then you know we can just progress into like you know doing an album doing more stuff okay features is super important like bro for for an artist you need that like well you don't need it but having like a commercially a, it's a, important a cosign yeah. a stamp of approval yeah, sure, it's, it's really important so we we're in the process of like now doing that okay so i uh, hopefully not hopefully <laughs> we will come back we will come back with hosanna and okay. the it's gonna have end. a feature okay. it's gonna have and a it's piece. gonna be fire and every yeah we're doing it exclusively here yeah, two, five, so four, eight, i really appreciate yeah, that you, so i'm thinking about something um 
before you came in, I was talking to Manzo and I was telling him like with his music, he was a lot of his old music that I was listening was like rap till I die, rap till I die. Yeah. And then I was telling him like I feel like he's boxing himself in because when I go and like listen to his music, I hear Afro sounds, I hear like melodic rap, I hear genge, I hear genge tone, I hear drill, I even hear coastal like coast vibes, like you know early mm-hmm. like so I guess. Where do you guys wanna? Where do you guys? Where do you see him? Where, where, do, do, you see, where, do, where, where do you see him fitting? Like, is it? Because you know, like the world will put us in world. Mm-hmm. You know, like now we might have like a world music. Like world music does it. Like <laughs> Banner Boys, there. Bad Bunnies, there. Like, where do you see him? So I see Trigger on everything, bro. Like he's really versatile. Because he said he can make a club banger easy. Yeah. So I'm even excited. He goes, that's the one thing that's not left my head bro, since you I said you said you have a club banger. I made a son in like two. Four to five minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the beat was done, and bro was even surprised, bro. No, but but um, <coughs> he can really hop on anything. Primarily, his primary genres like drill, gangeton. His gangeton stuff is also really really catchy. Yeah, he has an affinity for hooks. His hooks. Yeah, are his very hooks. Catchy. Like even if you listen to this song, it's like yeah, yeah. when I hold Sana. Yeah, yeah. But dun, dun, I've also dun. had some stuff where he's in the studio with KK. By the way, I have to really shout I out. I don't know KK, KK yet, so I yeah. know a lot of super drum guys, but I don't know KK. So Who's KK? KK KK is a new producer who we are working with at Super Drum, and okay. he's he's slowly integrating himself into the team nice. and kk is actually the guy who introduced me to trigger and icy okay. icy is also an she artist intro- you told me about her yes um, they were making music before before together, yeah. yeah icy also makes music she's also fire so they have music together and there's a song i listen to them it's a gangeton song and it's really really fire so he has the range to like really pop on both genres exactly but, and that's what's super dope yeah but i'm saying like i've seen him with kk work on like some really slow low R&B-ish type stuff. Get out of here. I swear. <laughs> I'm like... No, but this nigga has the shorties on deck. Uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> listen. Yeah, so he's super yeah. versatile. Um, But we want to focus on like his... This is what he's really, really like like honed in as his like you know s- his skills his focal points and then uh, i guess we want to give the people what they kind of want and then we uh, once th- we have like a like a foundation for trigger and his music we can now start branching out into more genres and stuff and being more experimental so um i have full confidence in you guys's production sound quality ability the one thing that i know is almost like non-negotiable in the industry today is videos. So like and like and videos cost a lot of money. So but like I feel like if visuals will really help sell him Definitely. and then the music. So it's like I guess do you guys have plans for videos and I guess what where you guys start? I, there's oh, a yeah. there's a, I've seen the overseas visual. Uh-huh. But like I want I want to see you more want real, I want like a real music video cuz yeah. it's not a video it's it's a visualizer almost. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. just a lyric video it's yeah. like daily duppy. Yeah. Um yes, music videos are definitely in the pipeline and like you said they do cost a lot of money. It, Bro, listen, you, you see cannot, those low key videos you're like wow. You cannot do a dope music video for less than 100 to 150,000. Mm. Like if you do if you're doing one it's going to be low quality. Yeah. So yeah, because you also want the quality of the music to also to match high. the quality of the video. Yeah, to be high. So yeah, yeah. and uh, I think Hosanna Hosanna deserves a video, and I think that's going to be the second single we release with him. Okay. So pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, young boy Trigger or Calligraph. Yeah. Um, I guess if you could, if Calligraph was sitting here, w- would you want advice? Would you want a feature? Would you? Would I guess what would you want from Calligraph? A feature. Feature. Yeah. Um, do you have the song ready or you you'd want to now go cook up? You know how you and Afam are cooking up together. Would you want to be in the studio with him or would you you know like you can send him a song and he can send you a verse back? Yeah, definitely. And uh okay, I was I have a song it's called Ali Bud. Mm-hmm. It's a drill song. I in a Okay. Yeah, but meanwhile, let's just keep making music till he, he gets to maybe recognize me and you know, come through, comes through for the for the for the feature. Okay. But I really respect the fact that he's a big name. He's from scratch. He's from the sh- from the mud, mm. literally, and that really inspires me and motivates me to work even harder. Because I believe I'm also gonna step on that stage too. So Kalia would ask for a feature, not advice, bro. Okay. I've learned a lot in the streets, and that's mm. enough, man. So advice is not a to feature. Okay. Mm. Um, trick question for you. Mm. Um. And I was looking for you or looking for your music. Like there's a lot of the young boys yeah, yeah. and there's like the name the name thing. So when I used to make music, 
I got my dream feature. I wanted a song with Wairee. So I raised like, okay, if you want a song with me, you have to change your name. So my group was called Golden Mafia. Mm-hmm. So I raised like this mafia shit now. Nah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, change your name, we put the song out. So I changed my name to Gift the Population and it was a song. The song is out. Don't go find it. It's trash. Uh-huh. But like, <laughs> I guess if some, if Calligraph is like down, it's like, but bro, you're Gina, Apana. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess as you're developing, you have the sound, you're putting it together, you're putting together what you're doing. Would you ever change the name? Yeah, to trigger, maybe just trigger. Okay. To move the young boy. Okay, because you know there's NBA young boy, yeah, these yeah, young sure. boys, whatever, whatever, yeah. YBN, whatever. Yeah, maybe we can, okay, but I really wanted a, a, a name that's gun related. Okay. So <laughs> I would either go with... <laughs> <laughs> I know you love guns, but yeah. the name... I would either go with... I was telling A from if uh. I was to change trigger, then I would go with Draco. Draco is also a nickname yeah. for a gun. Yeah, <laughs> I know that because so, even so if Big Draco, Soldier yeah, Boy, yeah, Soldier Boy, so, yeah, I would go with Draco. So if okay. I'm canceling trigger, then I'm gonna go with Draco. Anything to do with a gun for me, man. Okay, but bro, your real name is Christian. Is Chris Zoga. Chris, that's a dope name. Why can't you? Be, uh, why bro, can't you be Chris Zoga? Hey, bro, you're in your gavan, man. So, nah, so, you know the thing is, the checks are going to be saying Chris Zoga. So you take them straight to the bank. Straight to the bank, no discussions. Uh, now they pay you, they write a check, young boy, trigger. <laughs> trigger, young boy. Like, <laughs> What's a true, what's a true, your, your official true, <laughs> back it true under the covers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the name is Chris Zoga Martin. Okay. That's my official name. Then trigger came but in. you wouldn't be opposed to changing the name i don't want you to change it but th- i feel like that's as you continue to grow if need be as bro, you continue I, to grow i, I feel like imagine bro, yeah my bro my bro if i'm told i uh, was telling me about of course changing the name i'm, I'm down bro as long as for business for like business, yeah bro because we, imagine even business, like the gun bro. relation doesn't yeah, yeah. really help you too much yeah you love exactly. guns but yeah, yeah, yeah. your music is so dope yeah, yeah. i don't want you to be limited yeah. by the name yeah for business it's okay bro Idea, maybe I can go to Chris Zoga, but mm. you know the fact that I, c- I don't want to. Because you know, you talk about Whiskey, you talk about Beyonce, you talk about Burner Boy, Boy, and you have the capability of getting there. Yeah, exactly, like, bro. Only you can get in your way. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if as long as it's 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 something that's gonna taking us somewhere, you know, a better place than we are right now, I can change the name. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's crazy that it's only been two, three months. Mm. Um. When you were starting the year, do you think you'd be here? No, bro. I tell didn't. me, tell me. But see, bro, I used to pray, man. <laughs> I swear, bro. I would pray one day. I would just be in my in my small room, in my mattress, and I'm telling, I'm saying, like, God, I want to get somewhere. I can't raise uh, all these uh, studio fees. Mm. It's hell for me. And Najwa, he don't get through Kuinja Itoshi maze because you know I have responsibilities mm. and everything. Na akuna kitu na get ni kiasi ni mapina tu najua. Then me finding myself at super drum, bro, man. I always say thank thanks to God, man. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like you kitu ni liombea man na ime happen. Na say you know umbea one day ni feature Beyonce ama Banana Boy it a happen. It a happen for sure, bro. Just a matter of time. The thing I've seen about you in just my little research is you've been on this journey for a long time and mm. you've been telling people, I'm going to make it. I think people have believed, be, people believe in you. And even like I can uh, super drum believe in yeah, you. Sure, I see the people who are just believing in you. Does that scare you? Like, because you believe in yourself, yes, but then a lot of people are also believing in you and giving mm. you a chance. How does that feel? Yeah, at one point, it puts me in a situation where I, at the same time, I feel like, what if I don't make it, bro? You feel me? But definitely, I'm, I know I'm going to make mm. it. It doesn't even scare me. It gives me the encouragement to keep going. Because if you find someone telling you, like, hey, when you know, man, that means they're believing in you. Yeah. yeah. If one comes to the studio and we're making a beat together, that means he's believing in me. I, last time I was at the studio, everyone was like, bro, yo, Thana Nikali. Bro, everyone. Adi. And it was crazy. And that means all these people are believing in you. And so for me, I feel so honored. And it that's, that alone is an encouragement to keep doing the right thing, keep okay. going hard and keep putting God first. That's what um, I the most. The journey has been long. Um, I guess you... From Thika to now, where this guy's studio is, mm. it's quite far. Yeah, sure. Bruh. Your Ferrari, <laughs> but but uh, your journey, uh, uh, you know, me, I remember being, you go to a studio, 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 you go to a studio,
kutoka thika hadi yeah. Karen yeah. unarudi home hujafanya shit unarudi yeah. tena hujafanya shit <laughs> Una, bro uh, mimi ngeti easy yeah. how do you just you're, you're keeping going you're keeping and you you know you're believing in something it's a vision and now it's almost now you're seeing bits of reality of it but like i guess what's keeping you going like cuz like i told you that like you, it's only you ca- like i don't you can't feel unless now you choke out with this mm. and i guess what's keeping you going what's driving you bro you either make excuses or things happen mm. and so for me i would never use the distance as an excuse there's somewhere i'm really visioning to be five uh, like less than five years from now there are some stages i'm visioning to be and i can't get on these stages if i start complaining and giving excuses ata kukwena bro na ndanga studio diko kuna nyasha man believe me bro na nyasha na mvua dina ndana to mangona zianika na baki na tisho hapo hivyo mazena na shot yang na shot mm. ngoja zikauke but sisi same with oh kuna nyasha sisi in the studio bro i'm going to the studio and if i don't have if i haven't been booked but alpha i'm going to kk and we mm. must record you get okay. me because i'm always having content i'm always having things running in my head my heart and so for me there's no time for excuses and no time to feel like it's way too long from home i just have to go cuz I, i have a vision muji vision place flani so your place lazima nifike na the only thing kufika hapo is through this consistency whether the distance is too long or not i'll just keep going so you're ready you're hungry do you ever face like writers blocks or creative blocks like do you my work so ready kuna time when fika and you watch see like have you ever and do, what do you do in that scenario does it happen and wh- how do you deal with that where where i like c- creative block like mental block or oh, like a writer's block. block like writer's block you're like eh hey, so writer's um, block ni nini like kufika place unachoka kuandika so kuchoka kuandika lakini unajaribu kuandika a party okay God bless. <laughs> Cuz you know like you can be in the studio and you're not yeah, yeah there's nothing always, nothing is coming I'm nothing is coming. Cont- bro I'm telling you Hosanna I wrote Hosanna in less than 5 minutes bro I'm not lying. FM Just the beat can confirm. go. The beat was ready I told her from give me for Nilingia kwa room nikatoka na Hosanna nimeshaimaliza man. Like I'm always my mind is always running and nil train my mind and my heart to always being in that music vibe mm. i can speak anything in my mind atan kio komat naanza kujiambia kuimba my lines my flows my melodies my melodies evil to uno jua every day i do that every single day and for me it has never gotten to a point where i'm like eti oh mazee sifikiri poa ati na need break azee man mm. twende tukiandaga and also i think he all he always has like stuff already written down mm. so sometimes it's usually just a matter of like tweaking yeah, like what yeah, exactly. he already has sure. so it seems like he's always writing music and then when we get into the studio he'll just like okay that have something yeah mm. and then he'll yeah. just make it like make sense yeah the beat mm. yeah exactly um I guess you're saying the stages you want to get to the places you want to get to. Um do you want a family? Yeah, yeah inshallah in future definitely bro. Okay. Yeah, cuz I would really wish to see a mini me mm. some day when time is right though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I'm curious, you're so hard working, you're so passionate about music. What do you do when you're not making music? Cuz like literally everything for you is music. Yeah. Exactly. So I guess when you're not making music, do you have a life outside of music? It's true. Okay, I have me and my bros who tunakwanga my plug or my cladi so yes. I'm always nick either if I'm an ajuanga he has few of my videos when I'm I'm hustling mm-hmm. so we either to put kwa kwa streets tuna hustle tuna uza hizo my cladi zetu ama ni cost too mm-hmm. udeni pata ke jani bro ever ever to make to make can do a descendangi kulala na ndanga ku rest <laughs> yeah i call it rest i don't call it sleep because by four i'm always up so una daily pula, daily bro four yeah, that is your 5am club una mka four bro, by four cuz na fa kwenda gikosh bomba uh. inajua kuangalia hapa na pale uh-huh. i need to also vibe to some beats okay you know jua and so for me any if i'm not at this two i'm definitely not in the house but i'll be kobez to to know the stuff there to to not push no hassle because mm-hmm. at the end of the day i have i don't have a song with views that in and lipia kids i will not mm. get bro so najlipia kids and everything and therefore i have to hustle but 
ndo hadi mziki kuje GP anze kunilipa ndo ndasema na acha ni toke streets ni focus 100% on music okay yeah but if i'm not at this too go to konje so una risa kuna bola kuna netflix hakuna sijui madem ni nini ni ni fan of futa first i'm a big fan of nfl mm-hmm. and my favorite team? team is philadelphia eagles okay go eagles yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh how did you even get into that that's curious that's interesting like uh, as in i found myself loving nfl because okay. I, i used to be a big love of rugby okay yeah you and talked so, about yeah, that yeah, so yeah. rugby and nfl as in a different sana because okay. i used to play so super bowl on a nini nini bye sana okay. dia last to lose to eh. chiefs ma numa ma homes ma homes yeah you be but you yeah okay but the season uh, Jalen has at okay. you'll see the result so when the season is on you'll watch that uh, but I, i'm only watching on on instagram and youtube okay. that is when i'm i'm, I'm at the crib mm. chilling before i sleep before i rest or before i eat evo but see it's quite there's a match today let me go see it z mm. match and the time to shika tenjen don't angalia replays okay yeah uh, that's enough then when it comes to my damn my stories and everything mm. there's there's always time for that there's always time for that in kanajua na fa kwa studio acha ni kwa studio poa izini izini fanya ni cause kwa studio juu yake okay cuz Kenya kona bro rapper iko everywhere una get mm. yeah and so for me no feel like nilijua ku balance story ya my damn na vitu za nje na studio but most of the time it's studio and hustle okay yeah when you look back at your life um does it make sense like do the dots connect i feel like everything makes sense in hindsight like when you're in the moment it's like what the fuck is going on but like when you look back at life it makes sense the dots really do connect bro cuz uh like me telling i'm telling you like me growing when you may come this far like clearly i've mm. really grown bro i wouldn't rap like this before you feel me mm. and uh, it was something it was just something in me in kijambia man some day i'll make this type of record with this type of production mm. you feel me leave alone those youtube beats unapeleka studio ya thao ya na thao is a match unapoa kitu i mastery yeah yo bro nilikuwa na record yo na producer na niekea na na rudi home na yeah kuna mixing mastery ni vocals na beats vocals na beats kiandanga unaenda kuweka youtube uko umabwesha zako wabambike and so the dots really do connect because i've grown lyrically mentally ni me grow yani unajua ni me grow the do's and don'ts when it comes to music and beat i've known how to switch my flows i've known how to maintain the flow to put content in beats and music and i've known to be patient mm, that's, jua, a, that's one of the most important yeah, things najua si leo si kesho but iko siku bro mm. i'll get there and i've learned to be patient and if i've known could, to be if patient if you could give advice to seven year old you mm-hmm. or from one you yeah. what would you tell them from one cuz those two things those are two different one you're going to high school and now you're going to a space of your own yeah, and yeah. then like the seven year old you is going through a lot so i yeah. guess you can choose one or you can say both but i guess what advice would you give seven year old you or from one you i'd say life is what you make you make it and uh these are all these things you seeing people owning out there they were once zero mm. they were once broke they were once nobodies and so as you start this journey this new journey or as you keep going in this journey that you found yourself in just know that someone also started from where you are and gradually they got to where they are and so you too you going to get to where you you want to be it's all about the mindset and it's all about what you really desire to become you feel me mm. and definitely always remind a kid to pray because yeah. at the end of the day you have to connect to your creator man whether yeah. you're muslim whether you thug whether you're Bund- bro, buddhism whatever bro, me i was the baddest boy in high school bro but i would go in my in my dormitory and pray man i say mm. i mean i just want to be a good but i know i just want to let god know that i'm a good child you know so I always pray but first you have before you even touch that million touch it in your mind mm. it's all about the mindset you feel me before you even get that feature with that beyond so banner boy have it in your mind mm. i vision yourself standing next to banner mm. boy you feel me yeah and it, the moment you train your mind and your heart to always think that direction and you put work and put prayers you going to get there okay that's fact i was wondering as i was watching your interviews and 
hearing you talk about Kanye West and his inspiration of you, inspiration to you, yeah. I was wondering about. I still I look at Kanye West. He's an amazing producer. He's an amazing artist. Um, he's an amazing entrepreneur in terms of the Yeezy brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, Kanye doesn't make music per se anymore. Exactly. Like, bro. like, like music is kind of seasons. Yeah, yeah. So I guess for you, you're so music driven. I wonder if not music, what else? Like, I get this wavy and these ideas yeah. of fashion, but like. Yeah. I feel like you would be. You, I can't imagine you without music. And you, you, if it was not music, what, what would, what would you do? If say, if it was not music, mm. and because uh, I feel like your drive, the way you are, if you put it to anything, you yeah. win. Like you, what you, if you set your mind to something, you're going. Thing, bro. Uh, maybe I didn't say I'm a very talented actor. Mm. I used to act a lot, and uh, I have a voice that can host. I can do voiceovers. Yeah. I have a good voice, and so. Yeah, and definitely if it wasn't music, I would definitely maybe do any of these things. If mm-hmm. if at all we're not including selling clothes, yeah. selling drip and everything, but definitely maybe I would focus on maybe acting or doing or hosting shows because I, I I know I'm capable of that. I, I'm I'm you know I'm 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 really really capable of that. Something I I've tried before. I used to do when I was growing up and everything. So maybe majorly it would be something of the sort. Okay. Uh, um, as we wrap up, um, I want to know, um, kuna plans zako, mm-hmm. kuna plans uh, super drum, na kuna plans a god. Mm-hmm. Like the, everybody yeah. plans and then God decides. Yeah, sure, bro. Um, so I guess uh, manifesting, you've manifested, planning, you've planned, work ethic, you put it in. Um, do you what do you trust more your plans or god's plans or is oh, i guess because you can god you can, but there's action involved too but i guess what what what's 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 what for you for me i feel like you you just make your own plans but you 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 kind of tell god to uh, whatever his plan is mm. is let it happen you feel mm. me cuz there's a plan inataka kuwa hivi by next year na maybe adi god labda hajakupea ni kaje jote mipango zako the beginning of the year unge ufikiria historia super drum so god does his own you know you get what i'm saying for me let me trust god's plans cuz mm. it was in my plan bro to be a super drum miss ko yajua mm. by this day yajua ni yajua after ni leandro uko yeah. ni get and so I, i will always trust god's plans cuz it was, it was god's plans that i got to meet a from i mean mm. an amazing producer and a very loving bro and kina busir and a big shout out to all of them man i got love for them and i'll just sit on god's plans every day bro okay yeah because it was god's plans that i'm here now amazing mm. so overseas is out now mm-hmm. um i want to play that as we wrap up mm. but um do you feel like the music you're making you're talking about you're manifesting and speaking about overseas do you feel like your music you're making is relatable to people overseas uh, to people who live at the overseas yeah. Cause like the, cause it, it, I get the manifestation of like this is what I want. I want mm. to, I want to buy a house overseas. I yeah, want, yeah, yeah. but then do yeah. you, like, are you thinking like someone in Finland? I'm from Siako Germany. I'm from Siako Ukraine. There's a listener from Ukraine right now. Mm. You think if they're here overseas, like do you, I guess, what, cause you're so deep in the writing, you're so deep in the, but like, do you think like maybe someone in Mexico can hear my music? Cause when you look at like Banaboy right now, Banaboy is doing shows in Mexico, yeah, yeah. shows in Jamaica, like. And I don't think he's thinking I want to make a song for Jamaicans. Yeah. You know, I don't think he's thinking about doing yeah. a show as, but like when you're making your music, yeah. I even remember you talked about like an Otile Brown. I was yeah. like, I'm so curious in my mind I was like I want to hear what Otile Brown and Young Boy Trigger would yeah, sound like exactly. cuz like that that blew my mind. I was like I can see the calligraph, yeah, but I was yeah. like I'd love to put you in a space with Otile Brown. Yeah. Bize and then see what you make cuz yeah. but like i don't think you can make music for overseas i think you have to make your authentic music and then exactly. they accept yeah. it cuz yeah, i think yeah, yeah, if yeah. you go wrong if you're like i want to make a song for for uk niggas yeah, yeah, exactly. w- they don't they're going to fuck with you cuz you're authentic yes. they can't fuck with you cuz you're you know yeah. mm. no no i agree with that because uh drill is kind of like international bro mm. it's there's australian drill new zealand drill Ghanaian drill. drill and half of the time i don't even be under, uh, there's italian drill i don't understand <laughs> what they're saying yeah. but i fuck with it yeah. and i think 
it's a similar way. If he just keeps on shining through on the beats and mm. expressing himself, it's not. It doesn't even matter what he's saying. Those exactly. guys will feel that yeah. energy because you, you just have to show yourself. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like if you now say I want to sound like Vegas guys, yeah, yeah. you can never be like Vegas. No, no, no. Even no, no. Calligraphy is an amazing rapper. Yeah. Same for Nasty C. Yeah. But like. You ca- he, Nasty C can't rap like Wayne or Ti. He bro. has to rap like Nasty C. Yeah, yeah exactly. You do, you, do you worry for artists who are very, very influenced by the West in their music? I think it's nice to be influenced, but I think like if you're uh, if you're creating, I don't think you can create like them. I feel like that's where we kind of like. Uh, Bian was talking the other day about like Universal or one or whoever is with right now wants him to make songs like the ones that are on billboard mm. and it's like bro i make susana that's what uh, means, you know yeah. but it's like i can't make an ed sheeran song you know like i'm not ed sheeran yeah, exactly. so i feel like you, only way to be i feel like the only way to succeed is be yourself like yeah. if you you can't be butros yeah, you even if you do what you can't be you can get the ai butros yeah, but like yeah. you can't be butros i feel like yeah, just be you yeah, yeah so for me i don't make music for anyone outside my uh, outside where i'm from mm-hmm. i don't make pe- music for for overseas if i'm talking about overseas just a manifestation okay but i'm always heavy on myself being the real me cuz uh this cuz if i make music in, uh, i make music from the inspiration that it reflects the real me I more people people will fuck with me more mm. than I start making like than the time when I start trying to copy some other rapper from overseas and everything. So for me, I make music for for the people that I know, the people that I have, I, I am with every day, and f- where I am from, representing where I am from. Not and are you rapping Mombasa? Are you rapping thicker? Bro, I'm rapping <laughs> thicker for life. Bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm glad this happened when it happened, just because of the growth and even the music that you're putting out. Like, it's stuff we can share. It's stuff we can put out there. Yeah. So, um, keep pushing. Really proud of you, mm-hmm. and I hope that, like, you keep that same energy. Um, you're hungry, and we're gonna support you. Yeah. Blessings, bro. You know, I wanted to say, man, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for, you know, just the the interviews that you've afforded us, <laughs> Super Drum and everything. I s- actually mentioned this in the, uh, my podcast that's coming 30% out. 30% part. Yeah, on Wednesday. Um, you guys really do a lot for, for you know, upcoming talent, upcoming Kenyan creatives. Like, you always know you have a home here. Like, you know, you don't have clout, but you're making music. Where can I get an interview from? You can come here. And yeah. so, I really appreciate you guys for that, man. It's, it's, it's just really, really needed. And, you know, as an artist, sometimes it's just like, man, like, if you have a if you have an outlet like this, it's it, it's really encouraging, you know, yeah. and it helps you keep going. So, thank you guys, man. Um, I thank guess you, you have a lot of music out there. Yeah. If someone wants to listen to one song by you, mm-hmm. like, just if you, like, it's just one song by you, like, you're like, this is, this is me. Mm-hmm. Of what's out right now, what song would you say that is? That, uh, the one that's out right now. Man, I fuck heavy with Overseas, man. Mm-hmm. I overseas. Love overseas <laughs> is everything, man. That's okay. That song is heavy, bro. That song is heavy. Hey, hey, that song is heavy. Go listen to it closely. And we should, we need lyrics, man, on Instagram. I wish we could even post <laughs> oh, lyrics. Because yeah. you know people are missing, these people are missing the, the bars. bars. You're like bars, Wayne bars. Bro. Back in the day, Wayne bars, you just be like, what, Wayne, what did he <laughs> say? Yeah, bro, we need lyrics, but they're on Instagram. For I don't sure. know, Maze, but next time we, we upload, we make sure we upload lyrics too. For, li- for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Hosanna coming soon. Um, Young boy, trigger, trigger, young boy. Which one do you prefer? Trigger, young boy. Trigger, young boy. Yeah. Out now, overseas, super drum. Trigger, young boy, playing on Radio Five. Produced by A Form. Produced by A Form. And so much more is to come. Hosanna's coming soon, and so much more. So please, please, please follow him. Tell them, tell them where they can follow you on Instagram, YouTube, whatever links you wanna shout yo, out. Yo, 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 big shout out to everyone who just tuned in. Yo, it's your boy, Trigger, young boy, two thirty seven. Tika. So Trigger, T R I W G A. Young boy, everywhere, all platforms, all platforms. You follow me. Yeah, the link is on my bio. Go listen and stream to overseas. If you have, if you feel like I'm dope enough to be on your project, you can slide on my DM. We can organize with my producer, A Fun, for a session. Yeah, let's work together. Let's help each other grow. And big shout out to all those tuning in at 254 Radio and 254 Radio family. Thank you for having us. I right, guess this is overseas super drum and trigger young boy. Enjoy.
Spotify is doing the thing, guys. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to play the Bye. song. I just. Uh. Nairo wadi overseas Milandi ni mekam na kiss Stack your mention kamasi bizu Kidai vasekele achis Nairo wadi overseas